We've got a very special comedian, Sammy J. Sammy J, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Fresh, yeah. fresh Almost from didn't Edinburgh. Make it. Almost didn't make Almost it. Almost didn't make it. Just had a run up, run up Swanson Strait rather. How'd that rather. go? Yeah, he went pretty good. Yeah. His strange looks. But. Yeah, I was going to ask, because part of your show, well, just to tell the viewers, you just got back from the biggest comedy festival in the Is it the biggest comedy festival in the world? I believe it is, yeah. Yeah, it's Edinburgh Comedy Festival. And now you up and packed over there with your show, which is called 58 kilograms of pure entertainment. I forgot. Oh. See the way I pretended that I was letting you finish yeah. it? I just, my Smooth. notes are terrible. Feels nice. uh, so is that how you keep 58? You always run late for things? So you're always, well, always running? As I, as I said earlier, I don't. I wasn't late. The train was late. So oh. I don't want to specify oh, yeah. that to okay. everyone watching at home. But and yeah. that's yeah. Connex. Uh, I, we want to specify you know that to Connex yeah, as well. Joke on them because you didn't buy a ticket. Yeah. So. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I was running actually. <laughs> so what, what's, what's Edinburgh? Chased. <laughs> Can I actually ask what, what's Edinburgh like? I'm actually really... You know, it's quite an amazing sort of event, really, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's mad. I was there five years ago on, on my gap year, year, so I don't remember much of it, but it was like, I, I remember thinking I want to get back here again at some point and do something. And Because it's just like, it's like the Melbourne Comedy Festival times 100. There's just so many shows on, and the, the actual town itself is like an old Harry Potter town. It's got a big castle on top of a hill and all these old laneways. and Men with you know, beards. Yeah, whores, yeah. everything. Wizards, so, uh, wizards flying around. There. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of wizards. It's more than I was expecting. Ridiculous <laughs> broomstick games That's the taxis on. you catch, actually. Just hop on the thing. Yeah, just hop on the around. Yeah, because the Melbourne Comedy Festival has about two, has Dang, about two hundred right. shows, and Edinburgh literally has fifteen. I like, think it's, it's like three thousand. Three thousand shows. So and at any given time on any night, there's I think it's like fifteen hundred shows on at that point in time in right. the city. Right. So, so because as comedians in Melbourne, it's really tough sometimes to get people to come to our show in our own town. How did you get people to come to your show in a town that's on the other side of the world and there's 3,000 other options? How do you get people to your show? It's tricky. People resort to, you know, crazy uh, shenanigans and all sorts. Like, I, I was in the Spiegel tent, which is in a yep. special little garden. It's the same Spiegel tent that comes to Melbourne, so it's a really cool setup, and people want to go there and hang out. So I sort of basically just took my top off and walked around handing out flyers <laughs> sure. now for the show. That'll do it. When in doubt, take off your top. While we're talking, we actually have photos of your trip, I think, so if we could just get them to coming across it, it'd be lovely. Like, it's a visual spectacular yeah. today's show. I hope I sent you the right film. Yeah, it awkward. Or, or not. Or we won't. Yeah. I don't think you actually there we went. There, there we go. go. Oh, there's me and Adam. I, yeah, I was also doing my own show and a play called Breaker Morant with yeah. Adam Hills um, playing Breaker. And this I'll... is a question we had. How is Breaker Morant a comedy? Oh, well, it's not. not. That's Tim Minchin, yes. Yeah. That's, uh, he dropped in for a few days. He's awesome. And um, that's my big photo at the Spiegel Tent Garden. Oh, who, the... Do you know who that girl is? I have or no was idea. She just, just no. a big fan? They just couldn't, we had to wipe it, the, the lip marks off every day. <laughs> <laughs> Chicks couldn't just take it. There's, there's Mammy J, my mother, and Stephen Amos. Oh, your mother came. Mammy J came over. That's really so nice. She lost her own name. She just became Mammy J. That's oh. my beautiful white grand piano that they hired for me in the theatre. Oh, really? The theater. Um, oh, that's And awesome. that's the breakfast show. Yeah, I took that photo just <laughs> a second ago. And, yeah, uh, that, that graphic goes all around the world, mate. Now, um, now you, have a, you, have a, you have a history of getting nude at Comedy Festival. Because I, if yeah. I, if, Now, tell me if I'm wrong, but at this year's Comedy Festival, Arts of Huddy, were you one of the people that yeah. got up on the stage and did a little bit of a nude That dance? would be correct. Yeah. Yeah. The thing was, we yeah. saw you doing it, but we actually got pre-warned that you would do that. Remember yeah. someone actually said, oh, it was someone actually said, oh, it's nearly Sammy yeah. J um, naked time <laughs> o'clock. This is the press release here. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah. Sammy J nude. No, I wrote that. But that yeah. is true. Yeah. Someone, I can't remember who it was. Someone actually did say to us, oh, Sammy J will end up getting naked tonight. Well, you know, and then you delivered. Well, in the festival, the Hi-Fi bar is such a cool place. You know, and I never felt like I fitted in You know, sure. until more recently when I realised... Like, probably because you're naked. Well, no, no, it was before the nakedness. I've got to be honest. But no, yeah, so I don't know. Something that just makes me feel more comfortable in a sort of sweaty, smoky hellhole, just getting in my undies and getting on stage and dancing That's and yet it's become it's something of a disappointment now because everyone knows I'm going to do it so this should start selling tickets well I've been stopped in the street about three times it's quite serious with, people with mobile phones holding up footage of me dancing <laughs> and I can't remember a thing you know and, and there's, there's some there's some bootleg footage going around <laughs> YouTube YouTube um, now Edinburgh is also known for tough crowds is, mm. that, is that true it's known for heckling it's known for people just to I did I read that two six-year-old girls Heckled you in and my you first got them, show, and you got them kicked out no, of your show. I didn't get them yeah, kicked big, out. Big man, Sammy big man. As well, such, man, look, man, look, man, look. Man, look okay, they old. came flying. I, it was self-defense, whatever. But <laughs> no, they, they just. They were, it was really quite fun. But these kids were just constantly going me, and my publicist actually did it for me. I, I didn't. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Six-year-old go about heckling. That's what I'm saying. You're making excuses, passing the bus. They call you dumb, dumb. They say you're not funny, and I say, well, actually, if you have a look at the joke, you'll find that it's actually quite well written. and The craft work is superb, but they can't. They don't want to hear that. They just piss themselves. They just go, no, 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 no. Yeah. So my publicist grabbed them and dragged them out, and I and I had a go at her for taking people out of my show rather than bringing them in. They thought you were. thought you were the grey wiggle, and you and you just weren't delivering. I got my own. He still didn't help. <laughs> so, no, but I'm sorry, I need to, I'm just going back to these six-year-old yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need to talk about this. Who bought them to your show in the first place? Well, that's place? the thing. My show, I mean, my show isn't 
a dirty show as such, mm. but there are dirty themes along oh, the yes. way. Mm. Little songs. That, that whole section little... about six-year-old girls was highly inappropriate <laughs> for the audience that <laughs> night. Time. But I, I always make the point of making sure that if there are kids in the eye, I told the door staff to go and, and speak to them and just make sure to speak to the parents. But parents normally say, oh, no, they've heard it all before, you know, that's fine. And then, you know, <laughs> do the fingering song and it goes really bad. But, um, <laughs> you know, but um, anyway, so the kids, look, they were, they were fine. And more often than not, the parents seemed fine. The parents were more offended than the kids. Well, of course, that's what's going on. Yeah. And they hated you anyway. <laughs> They said to their mum, worst Christmas ever. True. This is the Christmas present. Yeah, I mean, it was crazy. It was in August, so the kids had it went to a weird school. Yeah, one, one, of the, one of the things we love about comedy... Is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they've wiped Christmas from all schools. Yeah. Oh, one of the, the things we love about movie. comedy is the fact that it's so clicky. Now, you're actually... We just saw you come in before. Are you, are you mates with young Mr. Well, they hug. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they yeah. hug. They they hug. You're very <laughs> warm to strangers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, mate! There was a big That's embrace. That's what they do in the I UK. I'm still away. on UK hug time, you know. Oh, so. right. of course. No, yeah, David so and I go... So you meet everybody in the UK. It's a big <laughs> hug. Maybe, you know, slap on the head. He's, he's actually my father. Um, <laughs> he wouldn't mind me I saying that, but it's been, yeah... Like, he does a good facade with the shaggy beard. Yeah. And everything, so, yeah, as Lynch is saying, clicky. So, looking at those photos, do all the Aussie comedians that are over there, you all meet up, or you've got your drinking yeah. holes that you go to every night. It's all... Sort of. There's quite a... It's got Aussie sort of contingent over there, and, and yeah. there is that camaraderie, if I can use a sort of yeah. Anzac word, yeah, on the those, early yeah. morning Break show. Break and Yeah, yeah, break, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and that, yeah, the, the main thing for me was... To, I also did that play, Break and Morant, and to answer a question for five minutes ago... I yeah. just, uh, there we go on the screen. There, there we are. are. Um, that's, yeah, I got offered the, the role of this... Um, a lawyer in Breaker Morant defending Breaker, and it's not, it wasn't a comedy at all. It's actually um, the Comedians Theatre Company put on a serious show each year, yeah. just as a bit of a challenge, as sure. at one o'clock in the day. So uh, for me, that was almost one of the, probably the highlight. I had to go to London and rehearse for a month with Adam that's Wilson. That's a great, and, apparently, great use of smoke machine there. Yeah, that was just my breaking wind. It <laughs> quite failed, I, I heard two six year olds were kicked out of that. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, Different war reasons. isn't funny. Yeah. Imagine, I, I would be really interested to know if someone came and saw that show and didn't know it was a serious play. Well, and they sit there going, Your pathos is not good. <laughs> no, they sit there going, This is the worst stand up I've ever seen. <laughs> in all seriousness, Adam Hills and I did a scene at um, Mark Watson's 24 hour show, you know, does that in Melbourne yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. And, and we got up and we stole our costumes from the dressing room, went, marched in as army guys, and did a scene from Brokeback Morant, which, as you can imagine, <laughs> just got a bit gay. And, and of course. Once again, that's on YouTube, I think, as well. And then um, <laughs> the next day, we got back to do the real play, and there was about 10 people in the audience who'd been there the night before. Four, who all started pissing themselves laughing <laughs> at the point where Adam and I had sexualised it and we almost lost our nerves but you had to stay in 1901 South Africa. Absolutely. Now, if we, have you got any sort of, now you're back in Melbourne, are you doing shows still? In yeah, I'm starting some late night shows at the Butterfly Club in a few weeks in South Melbourne which is oh. like a review of the week's news with a puppet, a really funny little puppet. Oh, um, and I'm doing Spiegel Tent on 24th of November. Oh, cool. Ooh, well, you're at MySpace so people can um, check you out. Jump on. Upcoming gigs, what is it? I don't know. I'll uh, just, oh, just go to sammy-j.com and you can follow the links there to all sorts of Eddie Maguire shenanigans. Brilliant. Well, <laughs> we love a bit of Eddie. Sammy J, we appreciate you coming in. Thank you very much and for having me, thank, boys. I know you're probably jet lagged and stuff. A little we bit, appreciate little it. Bit. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the final time. It's making us very sad. Sammy J, get ready because we're all going to look at our favourite newsreader, oh. Colette. She's gorgeous. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Homicide squad today. Time for the final time. Of 17 degrees, Geelong 16. That was awesome. Right, Sandra like, Sully, oh, eat your heart out. That's all I have to say. Unbelievable news reading. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise it was real news. I thought it was a joke, and with the stabbings, I was going to start heckling, show us your stabbings. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was real, and I got it. <laughs> Sorry it for that. Yeah. Um, Just before we go, we got a very quick... Um, there was a thing in the paper today... There was. Um, ...that uh, apparently Paul McCartney mm -hmm. is hooking up with... Uh, who's he? The, the very Renee young, Zellweger. Renee Zellweger. The blowfish. So, yeah. Blowfish? <laughs> she always looks like As she's she had so much work done, and she just skips so many meals that she... She just constantly look like she's just bitten into a lemon. Which is into... Like, actually she's got, she does. Renee Zellweger always just has this thing look about her face. But, we, you know. We've got to actually... Pick, because it's a, it brings up a thing about young and old yeah. people. We've actually got a picture of uh, my new girlfriend. Uh, she's. We, we've just started dating recently. Yeah. Um, because... Yeah, that's, that's oh. why she's... Yeah. I just look, love, like, you, love you, B. Yeah, just, look. Uh, age gap there. Yeah. 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 What's really annoying is when you go over... Age date, is like you, mine. You've got to meet her mum and her two friends and, you know, the dumb friend <laughs> and the tart friend. <laughs> and also, kids. And you also got to readjust her diaper. Do you reckon you hook me up with the slutty friend? <laughs> Blanche. Blanche. Blanche Devereaux. Blanche, Blanche, Blanche Devereaux. Uh, uh, do you know what? We were about to wrap up for the day, but um, I just think there's one thing that needs to happen today with Sammy Jane in the studio. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, ladies, don't form an all the queue. Come on. I've got a picture on here. Oh, this oh, is nudity. Mate, in the we ended on nudity. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you knew we would. Uh, you knew we would. I actually okay. wanted you to come back 
from the news with no shoe on. Yeah, actually, I think, I, think, cause I think you need to put your top back on. The white balance has just been thrown <laughs> yeah. off. The cool. white balance on the screen. Sunglasses on. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wrap this up. Thank you, Sammy J. Thank, Thank you, boys. Thank you, Dave Thornton, all the folks that came in today. We'll see you tomorrow. We've got British India and a whole bunch more. We'll see you next time.